Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks when working with layers. These tips and commands are going to save you time and make drafting a lot quicker in general. Uh, if you guys like this video or any of the videos on the channel, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. It's available for instant download at the link up above, as well as in the description down below. Both of those are discounted for viewers and subscribers like yourselves. Uh, I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. You'll get a lot out of the course. Uh, and it's jam-packed with over a decade of tips, tricks, and experience in AutoCAD. All right, let's jump right into today's video on layers and get started. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna to touch on a handful of different layer commands to help save you time and make it easier to work with layers today. Uh, we're gonna go through these pretty quick, but I think you're gonna get a lot out of them. Starting off, the make current command or lay m current is a great way to quickly switch your current layer or the layer you are set to. So you can see in this case, I'm currently on the text layer. If I select something like say these windows and choose make current, you'll see that it has now unselected that object, but my current layer is now windows. This command is gonna make it really easy for you to flip between layers, depending on what you're drawing and working on. Maybe you want to start creating more windows, so you wanna quickly switch to the DB windows layer by making it current. Now the next thing you can do is use the layer command down here, which is change to current layer. It's the one with the green check mark. By choosing that, it's gonna let you choose another object, say this bedroom text, and it's going to instantly switch it to the current layer. This is gonna allow you to change a group or a single object to a new layer, and that layer will be the current one you've got selected. This can make it quick to change a ton of objects by selecting them all and then simply clicking this command, and they're gonna move to the current layer. When I hit enter here, you can see that the bedroom label here has been moved to that Windows layer. Now, going along with that, we can use the match layer command up here. That's lay mch for the command. Uh, by clicking it, it's gonna let you choose an object. So we're gonna choose this bedroom carpet over here and hit enter. And then it's gonna ask us for a destination layer. So this is gonna match this object to whichever object we choose as layer. So in our case, we're gonna select this bedroom label over here, which we know is on the window layer. And you can see it's changed it right away. Maybe we wanna change those back to the text layer. So we'll use match layer. We're gonna select both of these pieces of text and hit enter. And then we're gonna choose this piece of text down here, which is on the text layer. Now all three of these are back on our default text layer with just a couple quick clips, clicks, and we don't need to scroll or look through a layer list to do this. Next up, in the case where you have multiple layers that are kind of showing the same thing and you wanna consolidate them into a single layer, or say you're cleaning up a drawing after binding or inserting an XREF and we've got multiple duplicate layers by accident, uh, the layer merge or lay merge command, which is under this layers flyout here and right here in the right, it's called L-A-Y-M-R-G for the text command. Choosing it is gonna allow us to choose an object on a layer that you would like to merge or combine with another layer. So you can see when we choose this text here, it's on the text layer. But if we choose this black text down here, it's on the text two layer. We don't need two text layers in this case, so we're gonna merge the two into one. We're gonna click the merge button down here. We're gonna choose the text two layer, and you can see that it has selected all of the objects on this layer. Now this is something to be aware of. When you do this merge, it's going to delete or remove the old layer, so the text two layer, and move all of the objects onto the new layer, which is going to be the text layer. Now, when we've selected the layers that we would like to merge, you could do more than one. We're gonna hit enter, and it's gonna ask us for our target layer. For us, that is this white 
text layer up here. So we're going to select it. It's going to confirm down at the bottom because this is a big step if you have tons or hundreds of objects. It's going to move all of them at once and delete that layer which you may or may not actually want to do. So to be sure that you want to do this, it confirms it with you. Typing Y or clicking the yes and hitting enter is going to confirm. You can see that all these objects are now on that text layer. And if we hit the drop down, the text to layer no longer exists. All right, so next up, we've got the layer walk command. Now, I like to use this command occasionally to see what layers are kind of set up and what's on what layer on a new project or new design that maybe I haven't worked with. Um, there's a lot of reasons you could be using this. Uh, but I find this just a quick way to walk or flip through all of the layers in your drawing. So you can see when, by hitting the down arrow or by selecting a layer, it displays all of the objects on that layer. You can use the control key to select multiple layers. So let's select say walls, doors, and windows by holding control and selecting those three. It lets you kind of step or walk through each of the layers in the drawing clearly and quickly uh, finding out what's on each one. Again, this can be super useful on a new project or if you're just looking to clean things up and you're not sure why you have this text data one layer, there's nothing on it so you can remove it pretty quickly. Um, by hitting close, this is going to restore all of your layers back to the way they were, showing everything that was previously displayed. All right, so the last kind of layer command or tip that I want to share with you guys today is called copy objects to new layer and kind of as it's described it's going to copy any of these objects onto a new layer as well as copying the object so you're not going to affect the original object you're going to get a copy of it and it'll be placed on any layer you would like so to get to that we're going to hit this layers fly out here and you're going to choose the button with the little like star explosion and two layers by choosing that, it's going to ask you which object you'd like to copy. In our case, let's say we want to copy this door here, but we'd like it to be on the window layer. So we've selected our door, hit enter, and you want to choose the destination layer. We're going to choose our door or our windows layer for our door. And now it's asking for a base point. This is where the copy function comes in. It makes it super quick and easy to duplicate objects while putting them on new layers. Uh, so you can see here now anywhere I click, it's gonna place a new door object, but it's on a layer of our choosing, which was the windows layer. Now, I hope you guys learned something from one of these tips today. These are gonna definitely help speed up your drafting process and give you a little bit more information when it comes to what you can do and not do with layers. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't to stay up to date with all the new videos. And if you are interested in learning more AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows, along with a ton of tips and tricks over a decade of my experience packed into a few hours of video courses, uh, check that out at the link up above and down below. That's my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.